Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. As we start the CFA Conference 2018, uh, it is a pleasure and an honor to welcome the Honorable Governor of Sindh, Mr. Mohammad Zubair, who is uh, gracing the occasion as the chief guest and uh, he has made his way out to the center and to the start. So I'd like uh, to now formally start the day uh, and uh, there is a lot of interesting things that will happen. Uh, during these proceedings, my name is Arif Sefi. I'm the financial controller of UBL. I will be your host for uh, the entire day today. So I think uh, it takes a little bit of time to just sort of shut the mind out of what we've been thinking of. So I request you to sort of put the telephones, the cell phones away. Try and not look at the last WhatsApp that came to you, the last email, and give yourself an opportunity to try and reflect. I'm sure some of us have, have read the brochure Evolving Mental Models. What does that really mean? And what have we been talking about? The element of reflection. Reflection, you could, you could look at your own strengths, you could look at your weaknesses, you could look at opportunities for yourself. And everybody has different strengths of administration, of perseverance, of innovation, and of course, the element of transformation evolving the mental model of how we are going to transform. What I would request all the participants in this conference to do is try and think about yourself. Of course, you are attending this conference more for yourself than for anybody else. So try and focus on the future. What is it that you can do better for yourself and do you really need to change for the future? This conference has six sessions, all of them with professionals from bankers to other industries to oil and gas and to various other people from international organizations will be here today. And they will tell you what needs to be done in terms of evolving the mental model and accepting change. The concept is a little bit difficult to grasp, it's a little bit different to grasp as well. But I'm sure that with some due concentration, all of us, when we walk out of here at 4 p.m. in the afternoon, will be a slightly different person. So those of you who are still at the back, I request you to kind of take your seats and those who have already in the conference, try and focus on what is being said today. It is going to be interesting, but it is you who will work out of this conference with something rather than just the networking. So before we start, I'd like to thank all of you for being here at this conference. This is the flagship event of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan and all of you who are sitting here today are flagship people of Pakistan themselves. So just give yourselves a round of applause, the CFOs, the audit firm partners, the budding chartered accountants. We've all got maybe 15, 20 years plus experience and the very senior people who have also graced this occasion, I'd like to thank all of you for coming to this conference. So as we move ahead, before we formally start the proceedings, uh, we will of course start with a recitation of the Holy Quran and I request all of us now to kindly be a little bit quiet and uh, try and listen to the words and also try and listen to the, the beautiful translation. Can you please have the recitation? Thank you. Oh, 
much. Uh, so with that, I think uh, all of us uh, are extremely proud of being members of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan. Since 1961, we have produced thousands of accountants that are doing very well in various professions, not just in Pakistan, but all over the world. And uh, those of you who have joined this conference, thank you so much. But the others who are uh, internationally uh, working in other countries, who are not in this hall, are of course seeing the entire proceedings of today's conference uh, on Facebook with live streaming going on. As, as done previously, um, now let us kindly please rise for the National Anthem of Pakistan. So may I please request uh, the entire hall to please stand up and we can proceed with the uh, the National Anthem of Pakistan. Thank you. feeling for every Pakistani to feel proud when the national anthem is played. So thank you so much uh, for the participation in that. And uh, now let's start the CFO conference 2018. I would like to give you a little bit of a background on, on the actual body within the Institute of Chartered Accountants that is behind this. So we've got the Professional Accountants and Business Committee of the ICAP which has now been uh, functioning for many years. We have already organized 16 conferences uh, all across uh, uh, Pakistan and of course in the Middle East as well. Now, what is the objective of this conference? And, and, and of course, not just the agenda today, but the objective is to bring together the intellectual strength of the Institute of Chartered Accountants. We are, we are all from diversified backgrounds, um, starting from our education and schooling. And then we all go through the four years of, I would say, grilling in the article ship and then you finally emerge uh, after passing a very tough exam and you go into the industry. And then what happens from there? The industry starts molding you in itself. So the organization that you join generally takes a lead in terms of molding you either uh, in, in its own ways or, or in, it, in the ways of the future. Our objective with this conference is to bring together uh, the intellectual strength produced by ICAP and focus on one topic at a time during the year. Today we have chosen evolving mental models. We would like you to think about your specific role as CFO, as CEO, as a partner of an audit firm, as a senior manager of an audit firm, and the many other people over here who are yet to actually cross that threshold. And of course, think about the changes that you will need to bring into yourself. Like I mentioned, we've got six sessions, all of which are extremely interesting. There are two panel discussions. And of course, the second half will be equally more interesting, where item number five is where we will actually discuss how we need to rewire the finance function. And, and you will think that why the finance function? I could think about rewiring my own company. Of course, please think about that. How can you rewire your own company? So in any case, uh, I think I've left you with some thoughts about the future and about yourself and how you would need to extract the maximum uh, benefit out of the speakers and this opportunity. I would also like to say, during the panel sessions, please do ask questions and, and think that you will make a contribution to this conference. 
And, and let me assure you, this conference is, is because of all of you. And the success of this conference, when we will evaluate it at the end of the day, will be your participation. So try and block some of the, the thoughts that you may have been talking or thinking about before getting into that door and, and concentrate on what is being said. Thank you so much uh, for your patience and your participation. As we start the program, I would uh, first like to request uh, Mr. Riaz A. Rahman Chandir, uh, the President of the Institute. Uh, he would come and uh, start the proceedings. I think it's important to just uh, go through some of his background. Mr. Chandir is a fellow member of the ICAP. He qualified in 1993 and is serving as country leader, audit and assurance designate in EY Fort Road, of course, one of the largest firms in the world and with a very large and growing practice in Pakistan. Um, and he has been a member of the ENY Global uh, family for the last 19 years. He has been elected as the president of ICAP for 2017 and 2018. He has also been an elected member of the council for the years 2013 to 2017. So that is a background that tells you of the efforts that have been put right from the top to make this conference a success and of course the key is to give back to the profession. So ladies and gentlemen, may I please request you to put your hands together for the President of ICAP, Mr. Riyadh A. Rahman Chambia. Thank you so much. Because they are taking various initiatives. 